Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today doing a new Disney video of course continuing with the Disney month for Disney's 100th anniversary. Today I thought it'd be great to take a look at a very important classic legacy Disney character being Mickey Mouse best friend and pet Pluto. This is a, a figure I had for a few months now and I wasn't sure if I should do a video on him because He's very simple, it's a very, gonna be a very simple short, a very short video because he doesn't really have any articulation, he's just a little figurine, and that's why I was doubting if I should do a video on him or not, but he is a very important character to Disney's history, and so that's why I decided to do a video on him. So I guess we should start on Pluto's details. Starting off with the face, very nicely detailed. Pluto is a very simple dog in terms of design. You can see the tongue sticking out and it's quite clear from the start that this is like a working Pluto. This is not just normal Pluto. He has the cap on. He has all the stuff in the back. You can see the Mickey Mouse symbol and all the tools he has. Yes, his tail's a bit short because it's broken. I bought him like this and he was a whopping... 25 cents. Yes, very cheap, I know. He was at a swap meet. I think for 25 cents, he was a great price. And in terms of details, it looks nice. Now, I'm not really sure specifically where this Pluto figure comes from. I made some research and I could not find any concrete information of the origin of this figure, like who made him and from what toy line he comes from. I'd imagine that maybe he's from the Mickey and the Roadster Racers TV show, which is a show that airs on Disney Junior, and it's about Mickey and friends being racer racers. So maybe that's where this Pluto is from. He does look like a mechanic. But that's kind of it. Again, no articulation, not no play feature. He's just Pluto. So let's do one single size comparison. That size comparison being with some Marvel Legends, you have Star-Lord and Shuri. And I wanted to do this comparison because is it just me or does this figure kind of work in scale? Like maybe he should be just ever so slightly larger, but I thought that it's a good enough scale. That's why I have this Pluto on display because I think he looks nice compared to other figures. But that's kind of it for the size comparisons and that's kind of it. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this little Pluto figure now. Since he was 25 cents, I imagine he's not that hard to find. Maybe you can find him at a drip store. Maybe he can be found on eBay. I'm not sure. And that he's kind of the only, like, I guess legacy classic Disney character I had. Like, I don't have any Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse or... Uh, one I would love to have, Donald Duck, Daisy, or Goofy. This is like the main vintage, classic, important Disney character I have. And so that's also why I wanted to do a video on him. But that's kind of it. Thank you so much for watching. And that, and that's pretty much it. Let me know what other stuff you'd like to see. What you've been enjoying so far of this Disney month. The Walt Disney Animation stuff, the Pixar stuff, the Marvel stuff. And that's it. Thanks for watching.